Does your thumbnail look like this? Brother, uh. Well, if you want it to look like this, in this video, I'll teach you how to do it. Okay, so what you're going to do is go to pixlr.com, P-I-X-L-R, scroll all the way down, pixel editor. Once you click on pixel editor, create new, and go all the way down to wide 1080p. Click that, just create. Here, you're going to create your thumbnail. Go ahead and go here, press image, scroll all the way down, and get the background you want. So for now, I'm going to be using this background. I'm going to extend it out. So this is going to be my background. After that, you're going to add your character. I'm going to use Deadpool because I like the new Deadpool Wolverine movie. I've been wearing the Deadpool skin, so I'm going to put Deadpool right here in the middle. Make them a bit bigger. Perfect. That is aligned perfectly. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some some ranks. So I want to do Unreal, Unreal. Oh no, not that Unreal. Unreal Fortnite. I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna drag this all the way to Pixlr. Drop it down, add point. I'm gonna make this big. Put that over there. Then we're gonna get, let's do gold. Gold. PNG, let's get a PNG of it. Not that kind of gold, I want this gold. This is a PNG, let's take it, drop down, add current. Let's go ahead and make it as big as this. All right, right here. And now it should look like this, a very nice looking thumbnail. Go ahead and move this here. Go ahead and go to text, add a text here. Uh, if, you want, if you want the Fortnite font, like the luckiest guy font, link is in the description below. So let's name this number one, Unreal. Let's give the color an Unreal color. Let's do this color. Let's OK. Move it down here. Come on, let me just make this a bit smaller and then make it bigger. Go ahead and feel free to change the size however you like. There we go. Number one Unreal. And we're going to add another text saying, uh, let's do number 300, 300 gold. Let's go ahead and give it this color here. Let's give it the gold color. Go ahead and make it the size we like. Drag it down here so that it aligns. And boom. Now that you, you can't really see it that much, let's go ahead and pick a darker color. Okay, well, that's better. You can see it now. Now with this, you're going to click on your character. So let's press arrange. Click on the character. Go ahead and go to adjustments. Hue saturation. Put saturation all the way to 82 and apply with and then go to filters drop to shadow put this all the way up put put blur all the way up offset all the way down here apply this is what it's going to look like looks pretty good right looks pretty professional now if you want to add some more details feel free to do that for me I might add an arrow. Let's go ahead and go to my render packs. Go ahead and add an arrow. Let's go here. Let's grab this arrow now. I want a good looking arrow. You know what? Let's go here. Search up red arrow. PNG. Let's see if we can find a good one. 
And I already found a good one, but it's... Oh, it is PNG. Okay, that's good. Drop it down here. Add current. And boom. Oh, we did not mean to move that. Undo. Make it smaller. And make it a bit bigger. Let's turn it like this a bit. And now it's in front of our Deadpool's face. So what do we do? Drop it all the way down so that it doesn't cover Deadpool's face. And boom. There we go. A good looking thumbnail. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more. If you did enjoy this video, click this video up here if you want to see more. And also click this video over here if you want to learn how to make a Roblox thumbnail. I don't think it's there yet because I haven't posted it yet. See you next time.